G'day guys, Tos20 here and welcome back to Marble Mountain. Today's episode and the next couple of episodes are going to be pretty special builds because we do have a special guest joining us over the next couple of weeks and his name is City Walk City Wall. How are you going buddy? What up man? How's it going? Ah dude, so good. Really, really good. And so happy that you are the guest builder in Marble Mountain and the builds, my friend, are just so, so, so epic. Thanks, man. I'm, I am so happy to have gotten to do this. This was uh, really fun because uh, this is probably the series that, uh, maybe not the series, but this is uh, the first one that I really watched the beginning of, um, I, right when I was getting into City Skylines. I mean, I watched a little bit of Border Town when it was coming out, but this was the one that I was like, uh, you know, got me really into these, these types of videos. So um, this is very exciting for me to be here. Oh, cool, dude. I, I actually didn't know that. That's great. <laughs> Bit of a confidence boost right there. Yeah, well, um, so, so yeah, thanks for having me, man. Um, basically, uh, you gave me this uh, little plot of land here that's uh, kind of along the coastline uh, towards the edge of the map. This is, um, there's like the highway that uh, goes over that, the, the bridge, what's the, you, the Bay Bridge, right? That's what you, you call it. Yeah. Um, I believe it's so got a different name, but I as in like that is the official name of it but i think we've called it something else maybe it's marble Mar i don't know montana Bridge. i don't know somebody's gonna tell me what the bridge is named <laughs> in the comment section but i can't remember it um anyway so yeah this highway uh comes all the way here to the edge, edge of the map and um i started off here by just trying to figure out how that would how that would go because um obviously the edge of the map is like a little bit of a tough thing to have look good you know like it's mm -hmm. i don't i was ra rare that you even build out this far um and so what i decided to do was just kind of like cover up that um that like crossing where it leaves or not cross but you know where it exit the highway exits the map um, mm. and do like a tunnel here and there's a really cool spot that um is in california obviously that i was uh, taking some inspiration from for this uh build it's called uh, Devil Slide. It's uh, just south of Pacifica, which is uh, just south of San Francisco. And uh, so basically it's like this old road that it's not even that old. It was used up until like 10 years ago that uh, cuts along the coast here and it's like super scary to drive by. And uh, pretty recently they built this tunnel that cuts through instead. So I was thinking this tunnel could be like a good spot to do the edge of the map. Um, and you'll see as this goes on, there's just a lot of things that are taken from here this this kind of parking area and the retaining wall and stuff like that uh, that i love that old uh that old highway that stretched on there you haven't driven along that have you uh yes many times it's really scary and it was closed for um quite a while because of landslides and so that's i think what tipped them off and we're like okay now we got to make a tunnel here this is dangerous you know <laughs> yeah it looks pretty narrow as well yeah i mean it's called devil's slide for a reason you know yeah <laughs> well that's so you did say that this is a very small block of land that i gave you it truly truly is guys i can't stress enough i've given city walk such a small little spot and i gave him the task to build a little town in this area and i really had i didn't give him like too much information because city walk is actually from like california so i figured he probably had a pretty good idea of the sort of style to go with which is um very clear of what you'll end up seeing him build but what we've um what we've done is he's sent me the footage that he recorded and i've obviously seen the build and it's actually quite a, a massive build and the amount of detail he puts into this area is probably it's worth three episodes so we're going to be doing it for the next three episodes just checking out uh, city walks build as he develops up this little town it just comes out with so much character and so much charm that i think just has such it's like so much of its own personality in it so i am really excited for you guys to um see it as it uh, progresses and develops over the next couple of weeks and i didn't expect you to build this far out <laughs> so I you know. know this is uh, pretty far <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I just, it was like, I had to kind of get in the groove of it and figure out what assets were here. And, and it took me, I was like thinking about it, like, man, I should probably like it, you know, I, this is the kind of spot if I'm building a town right here and there's like a very small area that connects from here to the edge of the map, like I'm guessing you're probably never going to touch this. And so, um, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, 
this felt like the kind of thing where you know I, I didn't you know think that you were probably going to build anything here and I wanted to kind of get my feet wet in the project and build something that wasn't quite in the town yet so you know starting on the edge working my way towards this little spot that you gave me well Which, that's um, something yes yeah, sorry, sorry go it. ahead I was just gonna say I'm glad that you uh did do this because I like down the track I would like to start doing the coastlines but like going in the other direction from Montana so this is an area that I never expected to be touched like I'm never gonna get this close to the map's edge I mean you yeah. were right on the map's edge here yeah I mean it, it's not somewhere that I would, I would imagine that you're really gonna see very often um, so you know that's that's kind of why I, I you know took a little bit of liberty and, and started out over here as opposed to directly in that little that little town area um, which I was about to say was uh, that little town is um, the spot in my Mars series. Um, I've actually built there before. I downloaded your map when I was starting out the Mars series, and that's the little spot that I made like a rocket launch site. And so all the shots that are in the opening of my series were filmed in the same spot, which was kind of uh, funny that you decided <laughs> to give that to me because now this is my second time building here. Yeah, welcome back. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, no, man, well, you said that I'm not going to be spending much time over here, but I actually think I'm going to be taking a lot of cinematics over here because this is the first developed coastline that we have. And it's cool to get uh, someone who is actually from the area to, you know, work in this spot and get the detail and vibe right so I can actually take a bit of inspiration because I don't really know the coastline of California that well, but it's, you know, definitely an area that I am really excited to uh, develop in future episodes so it, like i do really appreciate you getting the the ball rolling yeah uh, man any other little areas that you're taking inspiration from for this, this um build? yeah well so we're still working on the same little spot here you can see in google maps here there's um this bus station here i obviously took some liberties with how this intersection was designed um because it was a little bit difficult to figure it out with like you know the amount of assets that you had and I was trying to keep it uh, all these highway roads so that it didn't look like it transitioned to a different type of road. Um, so there's a lot of you know decals and things to make it look like it's not necessarily a highway road. And then um, in a little bit here, speaking of the the kind of like coastline of it, you'll see I start to work on areas that are more like this down here against the mm -hmm. water. And this was like um, a little bit tricky to figure out the best way to do this, and I ended up just using basically the same. Uh, gray flame rock over and over because it's the one that just looks the most like um, this kind of California cliffside where you've got these like uh, you can make these kind of grooves and um, things sticking <laughs> out you know um, I don't know how to describe this pattern but you know what I mean it's uh, it's kind of a specific sort of pattern that goes all the way along the coastline so I was trying yeah. to replicate that it's um it's quite eroded isn't it it is. It's very eroded. Obviously, these are like kind of hills that um, are, are pretty large that just, you know, drop right off into the ocean and the ocean is eroding it and, and water that, you know, rains down up here is also eroding it. And so it's trying to um, mimic that in game, which uh, was a little tedious with the gray flame rocks, I'll admit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But before those rocks, I haven't been able to pull that off. It's uh yeah it's one of the limitations with Marble Mountain uh, and you did touch on it is that I am using quite limited mods and assets uh, just because it's kind of interesting the sort of things you have to do to make it work so that's I think that's why I wanted to keep a lot of your builds in this time lapse because I mean you did say you know cut out whatever you like but I really felt like people are going to learn a lot from the different assets that you use to achieve the realistic look that you go for and i'd like how did you find the process going from mars to something as limited as marble mountain um to be honest it wasn't so bad i i spent a lot of time especially in this beginning phase that you're watching now um scrolling through find it and just looking at every single thing that is vanilla and it, it was uh kind of i was honestly kind of surprising I, there were some assets that i thought uh were not vanilla and turned out to be so um there's some there's some good stuff uh that the vanilla game comes with especially some of these plants and little rubble pieces and things like that that um, can really add a lot of detail on yeah. good decals even i mean 
not great decals, but good enough great. decals. Um, <laughs> like see so this true. little this little rubble piece. Um, when I when I found that, I was like, oh man, I got to use this everywhere. It's a it's a really good piece. <laughs> I think it comes from Natural Disasters DLC, maybe. Yeah. But uh, I use that all over. Dude, I just I just saw what you just did. They just hit a little a little parking lot inside the decals. You were such such a perfectionist. Yeah, well, you gotta have cars park in there, right? And I wanted this to be, because um, now in the in the real place, this is a uh, a trail that you can walk along. Devil's Slide has been turned into a trail, and so there's this parking uh... lot here. And so I wanted people to come out here and park, and, and you'll see a little bit later on, um, I just hid some like campsites and things inside some gray flame rocks to just generate people coming out here. Um, uh, dude, th this is why we're doing it for, this is why we're doing this for three weeks. So <laughs> I do really appreciate you actually, uh, you know, going to the amount of effort that, um, yeah. I mean, that yeah, you, no, you I was happy to, because to be honest, um, as someone from California, um, I would, uh, you know, I've always been interested in doing California builds. I think it'd be really fun, but then you look on YouTube and like everything's already been done. And so I feel mm -hmm. like I can't just like start another California series. So um, this was like a really good opportunity to get all my itches scratched, you know, my California building done. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'd be I'd be really upset if someone did a like a Sydney build because, you know, I still really want to do a Sydney build and I'm really glad that it's probably not as, um, I don't know, uh, what's the word? It's it's not it's not quite as like people don't try to replicate Sydney. Quite yeah, as it's much like almost a phenomenon. LA. Just like how many people want to build California style cities. I didn't totally realize California was quite that popular in terms of its you know <laughs> cities and the and the scenic areas and thing you know whatnot. Well, yeah, I mean, I I talk about my love of California mostly because it's I think it's just like a really unique type of um, landscape it's got some really interesting cities and uh I, th I feel like out of all the american cities i know probably california is the, the an area that i know the most of so uh that's sort of why i jumped on it pretty quick yeah you do see it a lot in movies and stuff like that too i suppose that's probably a big reason why you know you're just a little bit more used to the california um you know scenery and um yeah the city you just see the cities a lot more and stuff you know it's a lot of movies set in los angeles yeah yeah i mean that's how i felt when i was you know when i went i think i went to hollywood maybe like 11 12 years ago and i just remember just thinking oh my god this is just like the movies so, yeah. yeah um it is funny driving around and seeing places that you recognize from from certain movies and things like that uh day-to-day -day so, life so tell us a little bit about this area. I mean, I, I know you, you spoke about putting in some campsites and um, turning into a bit of a nature walking trail. Uh, and I just saw you work down at that little beach side. Um, yeah, so that's like um, a pretty classic thing that the California coastline has in a lot of places in, uh, in areas like in between where there's big rocks sticking out, there'll be, you know, a nice little beach. Um, so right now we're looking at uh, Big Sur. So you can just see like every, every, you know, whenever there's not a rock, there's a little beach and uh, these beaches are extremely inaccessible for the most part. So a lot of times there's like, you know, um, trees or uh, dead animals or things like that that just wash up there. So I, that's kind of what I was going for with that um, beach. And I did it a couple more times. You'll see just a little tiny sandy spots. You couldn't find any dead animal uh, props scrolling through uh no definitely not okay. but those uh vanilla logs aren't half bad they really work in that scenario i honestly i mean there's some there's some good ones on the workshop but um i i in in a detailed series you know when you have access to um as many assets and mods as you want and if i you know didn't necessarily have a dead tree to subscribe <laughs> to like right when i needed it i probably would end up using that vanilla one because it's really not terrible yeah not terrible. I mean, a lot of these, I feel like a lot of the assets that I scroll past in Marble Mountain, I'm like, oh, that's not, that's not totally terrible. I might give that a whirl. <laughs> and that is yeah. the charm, I guess, of it, isn't it? Yeah. And it, even with the buildings um, later on in, uh, in the in the next episodes of the build, you'll, th some of the buildings are really not terrible either. I, there's some there's some good <laughs> stuff in the vanilla things. I mean, I, I, I remember Skib saying the same thing when he did a, your guest build, that he was pleasantly <laughs> yeah. surprised. I really love available. that phrase. 
just not terrible. Like, it's not great. It's not good. But it's not. It's not totally terrible. No, but you know what actually is great, absolutely great, is those um, Park Life uh, little plant vegetation props yeah. that you just saw me messing with. Those things, there's um, there's nothing that really does the same, functions the same way, looks the same, you know, or the same or better than those. Those are those are better than anything on the workshop, I would say, because they just add so much little ground cover detail and the way that they... Um, kind of like warp to the terrain but you can still raise them up and down like mm. i don't know how does that even work i don't get it like there's nothing on the workshop that <laughs> functions the same way yeah that's right i mean there's, there's a, been a couple of assets that are or like props that have come out that are sort of similar but i just think the variety of these park life ones are they're quite good uh yeah, yeah they're just so good for hills and things too because if you were to place down just some like weeds or uh, some sort of tree like little mm. you know technically it's a tree but you know some sort of workshop asset that's like a little ground cover it doesn't uh, conform to the hill in the same way so you get little bits of weed sticking up in the air and things like that oh okay so here we are um this is another place that uh is based off a specific thing um there's a very famous bridge in big sur called uh Bixby Creek Bridge. It's like very iconic if you look up uh, Big Sur. Uh, it's like the number one image is this amazing bridge that uh, connects over this hill. You can't really see it in Google Maps. It looks kind of screwed up, but I was <laughs> um, trying to just uh, go for uh, as close to this as I possibly could. And obviously you don't have uh, an asset that's like this. And mm. so um, what you're seeing me do right now is uh, kind of try and make something similar out of monorail tracks, which... Um, <laughs> I think turned out surprisingly well all things considered dude um, so, that is so funny that yeah. is so good <laughs> oh my it's, god you really got to be creative with this vanilla stuff you know when you when you can't download when you can't download things so um that is insane there's two monorail tracks there and then you'll see in a second yeah whatever this prop is i'm not even sure what that is um just stacking them on top of each other to make oh, the what? vertical supports. I didn't what even realize this, this. Oh, it's a pillar. Some sort of yeah. pillar, yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. So this Dude. I was like, yeah, this I was like, okay, I'm in the groove of this thing now. Like I can <laughs> I've I'm you know what I mean? I was like I was a little proud of this one when I did it, because the monorail tracks, you know, who would have thought? Who would but have it was, thought? It, it was the only thing that you could really get a good arch like that like do you it has to be a network right like and what kind of other network is going to look like that oh, never would have thought to do this this is why i mean like people uh, like because i was complaining a couple of episodes ago in miami saying like oh i can't use any mods or assets or can't use this asset really want to do that and then a lot of people are saying oh dude just download assets like stop being such a complainy pants but this is why like it's so it's as much as i complain about you know, not having the assets that I want. It's also pretty fun trying to make it work. Yeah, it is. It is actually fun. It like gets your creative juices flowing. The only For thing sure. I will say about it is it my my index finger got really sore after this scrolling through the stupid find it window <laughs> so much. I spent so long scrolling through it trying to find things that would work for whatever random scenario it was I was coming up on, you know. And, oh, uh, dude, I felt the same way in Mars. It's like just so many assets I could choose choose from. I yeah felt the same way. <laughs> um, yeah. Now that you mention it, obviously um, we did a big swap. So um, to anyone who watches the Mars series, uh, two dollars will be in there pro uh, probably shortly. Um, I'm assuming this will come out before the Mars episode does, but. Yeah, just as a nice heads up, um, something yeah, to look yeah. forward to. Very oh, dude, it's so so much fun, so much yeah. fun building in Mars. It took um, me ages. I mean, talking about finding the groove, but that took me such a long time to figure uh, out. What to yeah, do. I know everything in Mars. I, I I should like give some sort of disclaimer before I get any let anyone build in there because it's just like you you think it's gonna be quick and then any any little thing just turns into a whole you know uh, three four hour whatever. It's just a lot of. <laughs> Yeah. I think it's it's just hard getting in the, I don't know. For me, I kept on wanting to do Star Wars stuff, and then I was like, no, aliens don't exist in this. Again, okay, I need to stop. <laughs> you know, I was kept on like trying to do, you know, Fifth Element stuff, and you know, That's did funny. you you were talking about how you don't use much inspiration from uh, movies or like other sci-fi stuff. You just sort of go off your own 
your own imagination. Yeah, I don't know insane. if that's the best uh, way to do it, but it does end up with something um, that doesn't really look much like anything else, which I think is a cool uh, thing. But um, at the same time, it makes it more difficult and maybe uh, a little bit less um, varied, I guess, because you just kind of get in the rut of doing the same thing over and over. But try to, yeah. try to do as best as I can. That's why actually it's great having such a, like doing these uh, guest builds is because, you know, um, having you in Mars, seeing stuff that you did, it like goes like, oh man, I never even thought of that. And all of a sudden now I have the whole new thing added to my vocabulary <laughs> of stuff to do and, and, you know, things that types of ways to build things, you know. Oh, likewise, man. Uh, so tell us what you're up to now. You've just created a little headland. Um, yes. Okay. So this area, um, I am basing off of a spot in Half Moon Bay, which is pretty close to the first spot that we were looking at. Um, this is called uh, Pillar Point Air Force Station, and uh, really, if you know the area, it's it's uh, Mavericks, which is an extremely well-known surfing area. Some of the biggest waves in the world um, out here in the water. And um, it's a cool spot because it's like this bluff with this like, kind of weather station up there. And obviously this is pretty large. And so I was just trying to make like a, a nice little version of, of that same sort of thing um, on this bluff here, because a, a good amount of what's to come is um, based off of Half Moon Bay, because I figured that's a nice um, place to take inspiration from for Marble Mountain, considering this is outside the city and it's along the coastline. And um, Half Moon Bay has some pretty iconic little little places. So. Beautiful. Well, that's a good indication for anyone trying to guess the inspiration from um, for the next little bits of uh, City Walks builds. So, yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, and look, there we go. We've got a, a little bit of procedural objects. Yeah. Well, OK, so we talked about this beforehand. Right. And um, I, I so I know you downloaded procedural objects recently. It was uh, very exciting to see you do that because mm. Um, it's been sometimes like, for instance, like watching <laughs> when you did that uh, thick bridge. I, I was like, I was like, you know, bashing my head against the table, being like, oh my god, this. Why is this taking so long? Like, just uh, if you the, you could just procedural objects it just like a little bit wider, and this would be over <laughs> in like five minutes. You know what I mean? Um, uh, I'm sorry to put that through. So I was I was like very excited when I saw that you had downloaded procedural objects. You know, a, a month ago or however long ago it was. Um, and so I was trying to keep it as relatable as I could to someone who doesn't use procedural objects. Obviously, I use it a ton in my Mars series, but I wanted to use it as minimally as possible. So I think that I only used it maybe a, a dozen or so times in this whole build, but that was obviously one of them. Um, oh, so there, there's this like, uh, whatever this is, it's, a, it's an observatory, I think, that comes with the vanilla game. And it's just massive. Um, so it didn't really fit on the space, but I wanted to use it. So I just scaled it down a little bit with procedural objects. So hopefully uh, that fits in enough with, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, spirit of Marble Mountain, but the rules, the rules of Marble yeah. Mountain. Uh, you did, I mean, honestly, I mean, you could have gone, when you told me that you only did it a couple of times, I was like, dude, that is very, very, very impressive because, um, yeah, it is very tempting. As soon as you get it, I mean, in my new series, we're just talking about it, um, but yeah, in my new series, I'm already using it a bunch because it is just so useful. And yeah. I, I tried, I, I was doing the opposite in Mars. I was trying to impress you with my procedural objects use. So yeah, I hope you, nice. hope you, I, hope you can appreciate that. I uh, definitely, I noticed some of those as well. Um, you just saw me do a cool little trick that um, I think works really well in these kind of areas in the water using more of those same vegetation props. Um, just like placing them kind of uh, a little bit off out from you know the the beach a little bit in the water kind of looking like you know because a big part of california uh, coastline is um, we've got kelp forests here which are um, you know massive things that you can like see from space you know that's like a, it's like a truly a forest and um you know if you're on the shore and you're looking out you see the, you know there's a ton of plants out there like you know a couple hundred feet away from the shore so it's trying to, you know, give somewhat of a similar vibe with that. I wouldn't have ever picked that. That's really clever. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's those. Like I said before, those those assets are unbelievably good um, for being vanilla. Yes. Yes. I use them for pretty much everything. Yeah. 
So we're just uh, detailing up this weather station now. Um, it was a little bit, at this point it's a little bit, it was, I couldn't really be looking at Google Maps anymore just because this is so small and squeezed compared to the real version in, in real life. This is really big and there's a lot of grass and open space up here, but um, this, it was kind of, I, you know, just had to squeeze a couple things in here and cover stuff up and it was just trying to, I, I went for a slightly more uh, overgrown vibe. With this, I was thinking this is maybe more of an actual weather station as opposed to, you know, Air Force station like it is in real life. Um, but in real life, it does have this really big fence around it, which is why I went for the prison fence. Um, That's perfect. I think, um, yeah, I mean, that is also how Marble Mountain works. You know, you got to you have to squeeze in quite a lot of different concepts into what is a very limited amount of space. I mean, the map is quite massive and you know, if I could redo it, there would be a definite, there'd be areas that I'd change so that I could actually fit in some, you know, more towns or fit in some more ideas. But yeah, you do have to be quite clever with the way that you use, you know, your buildings and your, you know, assets in these sort of spots. Did you find that tricky? Um, I, you know, I kind of find that fun. I think that's one of the most fun things of playing this game is trying to squeeze things into places and, and make stuff fit. Um, that's what kind of makes it feel obviously apart from the, the actual game aspect of it that really does feel like a game in terms of um how am i it how am i going to fit this into this you know it's like almost like tetris um yes. so, and and also trying to make things look good in, in proportion to each other and, and stuff like that so you know everything you got everything you do in city skylines has to be scaled down unless you're gonna make something like you know fbx or some sort of actually one-to-one -one project it's it's always little scaled down versions of real places yeah absolutely yeah uh this weather station turned out great i mean the amount of detail that you're going into there all this little um like the cars you're placing down and the signs it's a uh, it's just got a real really cool vibe to it and i think it's quite different to the one that you're taking um, inspiration from as well yeah it did turn out pretty different um you're about to see me i think in a second here do something uh pretty cool in the real version there's a big tall um sort of electrical post or something along those lines a really big tall uh, tower and so i used these train catenaries you just saw me do it and oh, make a little nice. square and, and raise them all way up and then i put some antennas and satellite dishes up at the top and um at the bottom you'll see in a second i like uh, connected the the ground level to to the top up here using some electrical uh wires like um you know, because these things are usually like held, you know, in four directions by wires, like connecting from the top down to the ground. Um, so, yeah, you're seeing me do it now, <laughs> hiding some electrical wires uh, underground on, on the bottom and then in the thing at the top, um, which you'll see, you see it, it affects the terrain. And I had to go and move. I think I cut out some footage of me moving around all the um, fences and, and trying to get it so that it didn't mess any of the terrain up so good that is so 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 good what what like you've given me such good ideas for you know other areas that i can um, take inspiration from and you know get you know use those assets as well in such different ways and i really hope that everybody else is also like looking at this and going oh okay that's another way i can use those assets i think that's really cool dude oh yeah well i'm i'm glad to have helped out in that way i i, I there's a lot of i can see there's obviously a lot of untouched coastline so i've been really excited for you to um to tackle mm. that um, yeah, in yeah. other places i know you mentioned you were going to do it like a train line along the coast uh, or maybe or i don't remember exactly what your plans were for other places but yeah i mean further further along the lines like along the other other areas of marble mountain but yeah this area is pretty much pretty much done I've, i'll like finish up the borders of the town that you do but that's that's it man yeah uh, so before we finish up you're doing one last build can you tell us about this one um yeah so in uh, along this coastline there's a lot of little farms all over the place um and they usually are like right here next to the highway and you know on one side is the beach and on one side you're going up to these big hills um and you can find these all up and down the coast but um this specific one i i just took inspiration from it's pretty close to uh devil's slide you know it's right right nearby and um I was, yeah, I was just, uh, you know, there's not much to say about this, honestly. It's just a little farm that um, I thought added a little bit of characteristic and uh, realism to the place. Because a lot of times it is these little mom and pop farms and they just grow 
strawberries or have a few goats or whatever. Um, there's one particular one that this isn't necessarily based off of, but I was thinking about it that um, they do like a really big uh, hay bale maze every year and um, I would go to that or, you know, Hi. there's a, there's another interesting one that um, actually is a strawberry farm in real life. This one isn't. Um, that uh, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. You like, there's no one there. You show up and there's like, um, there's like a little uh, building and you go inside and there's all these like amazing strawberry like pies and uh, different, you know, frozen strawberries covered in chocolate and all these different strawberry things. But there's no one inside and uh, they just have like a register sitting there and you're expected okay. to pay for it and make your own change. Um, so <laughs> that's one that's of my beautiful. one of yeah, one of my favorite places and was definitely thinking about it when I did this. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's what I also really like doing in um, in Marble Mountain. I think that's why I lost a lot of motivation for like the bigger city projects is because, you know, sometimes it's really nice just to build these little farm, uh, little farming areas and little, you know, areas that are just like nature based and little towns. I think that's why yeah, I like especially, this project so much. W- yeah, especially with a project like this where it's um, everything is so varied, it doesn't become repetitive because that's the main thing I've always found. When I'm like, yeah. I have to build a farming area and I'm like, oh my God, like a farming area in real life is so big, you know, but finding little yeah. spots like this and, and you know, um, and also the way that you scale the map and, and things like that makes it much easier to build, I would say, than it would be if it, you were going for something else. Agreed. Uh, hey, dude, we are pretty much out of time. I just want to say a massive thank you again for coming in and building in Marble Mountain. And again, we're going to be doing this for the next two weeks. So you're going to see us chip away. Well, not us. You'll see CityWalk chip away at the next um, area. Can you give us a little teaser of what that's going to be? Um, yeah, so we're going to we're gonna make our way into that town there. Um, and, you know, we're also going to be listening. To, you're going to have to be chipping away at listening to me talk, too. So we're both chipping away at things here. True. That's true. That's true. Should- but, yeah, man, I do really appreciate it. And, guys, if you haven't already, you should go and check out City Walk, City Walls channel, of course. He is doing an amazing project at the moment where he's building a, a basic colony on Mars. It's very, very interesting. Um, yeah. Everyone's yeah, and you're going to want to check it out, too, because of $2 is built there. So Yeah, that, too. <laughs> that, too. Uh, all right, man. All right, man. Thank I you. Very much appreciated. Guys, thank you all so much for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.